determine the baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan. Presenting the challenger, the assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Doha. Choy! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, we've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you out. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. These guys throwing early. 
fighters clinching here early. We expected a lot of this, and no surprise that we're seeing a clinch situation early on in this fight. Check, he did it right. He got right to the position he needed to in order to start this fight the way that he wants. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Nice loop and punch. This is such a crazy fight. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Beautiful straight counter. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch land. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shane. Oh, oh, oh. Shot there to see it. One more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot lands is perfect. Oh, straight right. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Those are big strikes. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, straight right. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Nice combination of strikes there by the Korean Super Bowl. What a body kick. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Beautiful strike. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Trying the flying knee there. Blocks the shot. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. Is a oh, right there for someone to blow the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great place for the medal. How good is that right hand? Ooh, what a punch. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Not there. Huge knee lands from close. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, he hurt a battle with the jab. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going.
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, uh, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Good punch lands. Able to check that kick as well. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big head kick. Choi shot is blocked. Just over three minutes to go. Right hand punch from the clinch. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, really making good use of this reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. See an efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Effective strike there by Shore. Ooh, blocks the shot. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, buckled him. Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so we hear and still tonight our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of hype, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly 